Hello and welcome to No Let's Play. Me, Game of Woo 6. Now I've escaped from Monkey Island. On last let's play, we talked to Meat Hook and to look up how to uh, get the boats that's on fire permanently stuck in position so it could melt a painting that turned out to be a map. Again, Grog in a in an engine, which for some reason made it stop instead of go faster. And then randomly just put earrings on this thing and it actually worked. So let's talk to this um, figurehead. Figurehead lady? What? What horrible abomination of nature gave you the ability to talk? Damnedest thing. I cross tax with some old sea hag of a ship. How was I supposed to know she was carrying a cargo hold of voodoo root? So, a bunch of mojo crap fell off her decks and I sailed right through it. Next thing you know, I'm talking. Like you care anyway, squid for brains. So wait, could she always talk or what did she only talk because they put on the earrings? You look kind of familiar. Perhaps you've seen me in your nightmares. No, I don't think so. Yes, you have. Watch this. I'm the king of the world! Woo! Ah! Stop! That's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Uh What's with the surly attitude? Titanic. You'd be surly too if you're screwed to the stem of a ship! Good point. Hmm. What's with the surly attitude? This from a guy who can actually move his arms. Wanna be my official ship? Wanna be my anchor. Uh is that a euphemism? Did you mean that in the literal sense or the figurative? How's this for clarity? Make like a jellyfish and dry up on the beach! No, I guess I don't want to be an anchor. Well then buzz off, son! You're blocking my view! I'd make a better captain. How long were you a bellhop before you got promoted? How about dropping this subject, toilet brush three fold? Um, figurehead lady? What? Never heard of a voodoo talisman called the ultimate insult? Sure. What of it? Do you know where it is? No. Do you know what it looks like? No. I've heard it can emasculate the toughest of pirates. Really? Are you sure you've heard of it? I've never heard of your stupid ultra mint insult thing. I was just yanking your chain hard. Oh, scrub off now, would you? Um, figurehead lady? What? Oh, scrub off now, would you? Yeah, okay, let's, uh, I guess use the map on her. Or maybe Grog. Oh, Wait, she can't move her arms. Do you need me to carry that big, heavy picture for you? Yeah, do you mind? You know what else would look good on me? Your blood on my hands. Um, figurehead lady? What? Oh, scrub off now, would you? Uh, Grog? I don't think she'd like that. Yeah, okay. How about a treasure chest? I don't think she'd like that. How about a pen? She won't take it. Those things really don't go together. Okay. How about this? Those things really don't go together. A statuesque lady of your beauty should have a necklace. Oh, how sweet. You remind me of the daughter your parents never had. Um, figurehead lady? What? Oh, scrub off now, would you? What is this compulsion you have to dress me up, you pantaloon freak? Say, you don't happen to know anything about the ultimate insult, do you? I got your ultimate insult right here! Sounds like a big yes to me. Do you know where it is? How the poop deck should I know? Get a load of this guy! Thinks just cause I'm attached to a ship, I know where every little two-bit piece of dirt of an island is. 
What a scupper licker! Ooh, look at me! I'm Guybrush Three Stars. I'm a mighty stupid pirate. So, oh, okay. Jambalaya. Interesting. Do you know what it looks like? I told you, you festering bucket of shark bait. I don't know anything about your supposed ultimate insult. Look at you walking around like you've got a bow spread up your. Hey, what's this now? Yikes, this looks complicated. This is your captain speaking. Prepare the ship for departure. Oh, great. Now where are we going? Jambalaya Island, home of the ultimate insult. Jambalaya Island? What kind of name is that? Can you get us there, Mr. Cheese? Aye. Cheese? Make it so. <clears throat> Elaine? Aren't you forgetting something? Clean underwear? Clean underwear? Thanks. I almost forgot. You're welcome. No, you forgot to give the gubernatorial symbol back to me. Oh, yeah. Here. I'm off to find the ultimate insult. Try not to get killed and or cursed, dear. What? What? Hey, a talking monkey! Oh, ungrateful. Hey, everybody. Mr. Cheese, it. wouldn't it be easier to sail around that typhoon on the horizon? <laughs> Where'd be the fun in that, Cap? Cry havoc! And let them the dogs Release the cracker! Not in the face! Not in the face! Oh, the ship! Can I stand oh, the strain, oh, Captain? Oh, There's no place like home. There's no place like home. This was only supposed to be a three-hour tour. Well, that was a miserable journey. No cushy government job is worth this much grief. Welcome to Jambalaya Island, home of swashbuckling pirates and spooky voodoo curses. And tacky-themed restaurants. And tourists. Do I be hearing piped-in music wafting through those artificial trees? What are you guys talking about? This is a perfectly normal pirate town. That's been completely taken over by the corporate tourist industry. Gee, Ozzy must have been really busy here. Oh, I need a drink. I've got repairs to make. I'll stay here and, um, uh, guard the ship. Don't go getting anybody's flowers. Okay. Hey. I guess we go into every single building and see if there's anything to pick up. People to talk to. I have no memory of this place. Welcome to Star Buccaneer's Coffee House. Can I help you, sir? Grog me. Sorry, sir, but we don't serve straight grog here. But we do have some nice grog-flavored coffee drinks to choose from. But I want a grog. You'll have to go over to the micro groggery for that, sir. We prefer not to compete with independent businesses. It's weird that he's like, I want grog, but there were there was a pile of grog and he only took one. And it, he used half of it to pour into the thing and then he didn't drink the rest of it. But doesn't your company prey on the competitors? Predatory practices aren't good for anyone except the consumer. Instead of having a one-stop shop that offers a single bland choice for every item you may want, we prefer to specialize and give our customers literally hundreds of confusing options. I'd like a coffee drink. Excellent. We have many fine drinks to choose from. I'll have your coffee of the day. Our featured coffee is the iced Grogachino. I'll have one of those then. Excellent choice, sir. One iced Grogachino. 350 jambalaya bucks. But I don't have 350 jambalaya bucks. Oh, well, I'm sorry then, sir. It's well worth it, though. We're offering free refills with every purchase. I'll come back when I have something figured out. Have a nice so day. So I guess I go look for a cup. Soon. Welcome to Star Buccaneers, can I? I'm a mighty pirate. Surrender your women. Very good, sir. You almost sound like a real pirate. Can I make you a coffee drink? But I am a real pirate. Me too. Watch this. Hard. Yikes. Pretty good, huh? I was stopping my class at the pirate training academy. 
So, pirate boy, what can I get for you? Nothing, I guess. Have a nice day, and visit us again soon. So who you be? Oh, let me guess. Since then... T what is that? Oh, that's in the game. Since there's a coffee mug in that cup that seems to be higher res, I'm probably gonna have to... Touristy get it. stuff, mostly. Lots of coffee and a Star Buccaneers logo coffee cup. There's a sale on coffee beans. Oh my word! Really? Oops, my mistake. You almost gave me a heart attack! Pardon me. Yes? Isn't it a little dangerous to be vacationing in pirate-infested waters? I'll say! Somehow I got ripped off! What? Some scummy pirate weasel must have swiped my coffee mug from my shopping bag! Can you believe it? Uh, no! And this place is supposed to be pirate-free! Baby, that outfit is making me hungry. Don't get fresh, local boy! Uh, sorry. I ain't local. Do you know where I can find the pieces of the ultimate insult? Is that a new kind of frappuccino maker? No. It's a malevolent voodoo talisman of gut-wrenching power. And I'm trying to stop an undead evil pirate from assembling it. Ooh, that sounds exciting! What do the pieces look like? One of the pieces looks like a golden man. Oh, you know, I believe the local cliff diving competition has a trophy that looks like that. Really? Okay, I we think go there. So. There was a picture of it in the travel guide. One of the pieces looks like a bronze pirate hat. Hmm. Nope. Can't think of anything. One of the pieces looks like a silver monkey head. A silver monkey head, huh? Sorry. I'm drawing a big old blank. Sounds exotic, though. If you find the shop that sells them, let me know. I've had just about enough talking about the ultimate insult for now. Fine. What are you doing? I'm picking up some bags of this absolutely fabulous Star Buccaneers coffee. You just can't get coffee like this at home. Of course you can. There are thousands of Star Buccaneers. Yeah, but these have Jambalaya Island stamped on them. My friends at home will be so envious. I still say that coffee is coffee is coffee. Well, of course you do, you poor unsophisticated pirate. The locals never seem to appreciate what they have. I'll just be on my way. Ta! Okay, time to use my cup on that guy. It's so much nicer when you have barely anything in your, uh, thing. I'd like a refill, please. That's a souvenir mug, not a coffee cup. I'd like a refill, please. That's a souvenir mug, not a coffee cup. I don't think this... Those things really... There's nothing in it. Yeah, okay, so this is maybe pointless. Sam, this area really makes it sense. Oh, I guess there was a bit more room in there. Should probably check. Makes it sound like there's like... That cup right there seems a bit high res. In the window. Okay. Now let's see if there's anything in the bushes. Really? Nothing? Wow. Seems a little gaudy to have a sign that big inside the store. Now yeah, at least, uh... That delicious mini bagel you're about to sample has Star Buccaneer's own schmear whiz on it. A wonderfully yeah. delightful blend of artificial cream cheese and salmon lock bits with the convenience of a spray-on can. Um, great. We're giving away free samples today as a promotion, so please help yourself. I could, but I'm no bully. I've already got one. Okay. Yeah. It's an empty Star Buccaneers Grogachino cup. I can't get it from here. There's a window pane in the way. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess I have to see through the window. Eh. Damn it. Um, sir, I'm not sure what you're doing, but I'm sure it's against company policy. You're against company policy. Still offering that free refill? You betcha, sir. I'll take care of that for you. Can't get enough of my sweet coffee goodness, can you? Uh, sure. Just get me my Gragacino, please. Alrighty, coming right up. I'm just gonna put this uh, hot cup of coffee in my pocket. I think there's high-res stuff, especially now that, you know, was able to finagle it to get high-resolution things. Hey, there's a Iris Skull. Madame's and Messieurs, brigands and what? Murray? Murray the Evil Skull? Guybrush? Guybrush the Mortal Pirate? Wow, it is a small world after all. How did you escape from Monkey Island? The last time I saw you, you were sitting on a shelf in LeChuck's demonic amusement park. Ah, that's a tale of heart-stopping malice and evil. Oh, naturally. It all started a few months ago. As usual, I was sitting on my shelf, working on my plans to conquer the world. <laughs> Suddenly, the amusement park exploded with a blast of demonic heck fire. Heck fire? Okay. It was those hydrogen-filled LeChuck balloons, right? I knew they were trouble. No, it was LeChuck. Apparently his flaming beard melted its way through his icy tomb, freeing him. I knew I should have given him a shave before I left. But what caused the explosive blast of demonic heck fire? Oh, he was just letting off a little steam. Steam, get it? <laughs> hey, I thought it was funny. So after LeChuck escaped, how did you end up here? After his escape, LeChuck began destroying his theme park in a fit of demonic rage. Although personally, I think he was just colossally embarrassed by the whole thing. I mean, really, what kind of a demonically evil scheme involves roller coasters and cotton candy anyway? Enough editorializing. How'd you wind up here? Oh, that. Well, one of the explosions flung me out to sea, where, ironically, I landed on the shattered remnants of a midway dart game. After weeks at sea, I drifted ashore on this delightfully evil isle where Ozzy Mandrill, a man after my own blackened soul, gave me a job at this fine establishment. Mwah! You know, the tale of your exodus wasn't particularly filled with heart-stopping malice and evil. Are you kidding? It had LeChuck, Ozzy, and yours truly. How much more evil can you get? Good point. What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm the greeter slash bouncer of Planet Threepwood. The creme de la creme in pirate theme family style, altogether evil dining. Murray! All right, I added the evil part. I can't imagine how you could be a very good bouncer. Why not? Well, for starters, you've got no arms. Evil needs no arms. Watch! You, over there with the face! Well, who, me? Yes, you! I want you out of the restaurant now! Oh, but I'm not... Talk to the hand, mortal! Uh, what hand? Don't play smart with me, fleshbag! Out! 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 <laughs> Just gonna Impressive. tiptoe away. I don't imagine you get much repeat business, though. So, how do you like this job? Personally, I preferred it when I was just the greeter. It really allowed me plenty of time to work on my evil dreams. But when Floppo the Bouncer Monkey ran away, they needed someone to double on bouncer duty, and I really needed the money. Murray, what do you need money for? To finance my diabolical schemes, of course. Do you have any idea how much it costs to hire a fleet of Scandinavian barbarians these days? How would you like to become an integral part of a powerful voodoo talisman? Is it an evil talisman? Potentially. What's it called? The Ultimate Insult. The Ultimate... Don't be naive, mortal. The ultimate insult is too powerful to be wielded by the likes of you. But I need a headpiece, and you'd be perfect. See? You fool! This diagram clearly indicates you need a monkey head. I am a human head. Well, I just thought... Well, think a little harder. I want no part of this ultimate insult tomfoolery. So, is he, like, the same guy that used to, you know, 
be the skull and the meat around it, or is the skull on an entire separate Are you entity? Sure, you don't want to be a part of the ultimate insult? Absolutely not. I may be evil, but I'm not crazy. I've got to go. Stop by any time for more pirate theme fun and evil. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, madams and messieurs, brigands and wenches. Why well, is this place named after me, anyways? Okay, how do I talk to you? Excuse me. Hi, I'm Elaine, and I'll be your waitress this afternoon. Wait, Would you the like guys to hear in about here. Today's special. I'd love to hear about today's special. We call it Stan's Budget Bologna Sub. It's four pieces of bologna, ham, and turkey smothered in three types of cheese on rye bread. Ew. <laughs> That's funny. We've been getting that reaction all day. Yeah, not too much fan of the rye bread. What kind of place is this, anyway? This is Planet Threepwood, one of a chain of restaurants dedicated to showcasing the exploits of the Tri-Island area's most famous pirate, Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, that explains why it looks like my life has been vomited all over the walls. Excuse me? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm not too thrilled about this place. <laughs> That's a good one, sir. What? Everyone knows that Guybrush Threepwood is about six foot four, has a scar about yay long over his left eye, and a big black parrot. No, really, I can prove it. Ask me something only Guybrush Threepwood would know. Okay. What are your parents' names? John and Martha? Ha! Everyone knows their names were Fred and Ginger. I didn't. Then maybe you aren't really Guybrush Threepwood. I guess not. So, who are you supposed to be? I'm Elaine Marley, the pirate princess of Melee Island. Hey, baby. You can be my Elaine anytime. What? Uh, nothing. Whose brilliant idea was this, anyway? Planet Threepwood is a wholly owned subsidiary of Ozymandrill Enterprises. I should have guessed. I think I'm ready to order. What'll it be? What have you got? <sighs> it's all on the menu. Call me after you've read it. Gee, she's just as snippy as the real Elaine. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Elaine, and I'll... I'm looking for the ultimate insult. I've never heard of that. Is it on the menu? I don't think so. Just walking up to everybody menu, being like, Hey, I'm trying to look it. for this super weapon. Uh, do you guys know Come when, think of it, where it is? I need a few more minutes. Let me know when you're ready to... Pardon me. Ah, uh, yeah. You're a little goofy looking for a pirate, aren't you? Oh, 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 gosh, me a pirate, don't I wish now? Pirates are the coolest. I'm a vacationing pet shop clerk, don't you know? You're Canadian. Aren't you afraid of encountering real pirates? Oh, 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 nah, everyone knows that Ozymandrill swept the island clean of those, you know, those real scary pirates. Well, thanks to him, I can indulge my passion for pirate memorabilia, if you must know, you know, without the hassle of dealing with actual pirates. <laughs> What would you say if I told you you were looking at a real pirate right now? Oh, get out of here right now. Real pirates have scars and parrots and peg legs, you know, stuff like that there. You look more like one of those squeaky clean pirate performers that Mandrill's hired to entertain the tourists. But I am a real pirate. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Oh. Don't be stupid now. The real Guybrush Threepwood is over seven feet tall, wears a hat dripping with the blood of his enemies, and he has the ghost of his favorite parrot perched on his shoulder there. Right there, yeah. Wow, I'm scarier than I thought. But I am a real pirate. Oh, don't the real guy wears any... Wow. I'm looking for the pieces of the ultimate insult. Is that one of Planet Threepwood's toy giveaways? No, it's a volatile voodoo talisman of indescribably psyche-destroying power. I'm trying to stop an undead evil pirate from assembling it. Oh, cripes, a quest? This is just like my pirate role-playing games at home. What does this ultimate insult look like? One of the pieces looks like a golden man. Ah, that sounds like my yellow Avenger action figure back home in Oshkosh. I don't think that's it. One of the pieces looks like a bronze pirate hat. Hmm. <laughs> nope, I, uh, I guess I don't have the experience points to come up with a clue. One of the pieces looks like a silver monkey head. A silver monkey head, eh? Oh, that sounds like the silver monkey mug they use for special occasions here at Planet Threepwood. Uh, at least I got uh, two I out of three of the things. Fine. At least uh, knowledge. I wonder what the secret is. Eh, who cares anyway? It, I saw a mug. Oh.
my gosh. Somebody stole my original pirate clothes out of my closet. I wonder if Murray knows that they have his arm on display in here. There's a giant bone arm? Anyways, there was like a mug or something. LucasArts seems to have their grubby hands into everything around here. I guess they couldn't find anything else interesting when they were stealing stuff out of my closet. Excuse me. Yes, would you like a free pirate caricature? Free pirate caricature? Yes, to help promote the zany swashbuckling atmosphere of Planet Treepwood. Ozzy Mandrill Enterprises has hired me, Christopher Kilometre, to render free pirate-themed caricatures of our guests. Would you like one? Sure, why not? Wonderful. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. You know what I like about pirates? They're so active and healthy, you know? All that sword fighting and sailing, really outdoorsy stuff. What's your favorite pirate activity? Oh, is this one of the things where it's random stuff and then you get the right thing? I love the smell of gunpowder in the morning. It smells like victory. Of course, gunpowder in the late afternoon tends to smell a little more like weak old macaroni, which is why I always try to have my gun battles before lunch. You know what else I like about pirates? They're wacky, madcap accessories. Pegs, patches, parrots, hooks. They're just so domed whimsical. What's your favorite pirate accessory? Yeah. I've never met a pirate who didn't love his eye patch. Although I suppose they'd love to have their eyes back even more. You know what I can't figure out about pirates? I shudder to think. What do they do in their spare time? They can't spend their entire lives fighting, sailing, and wenching, can they? That voice sounds familiar. I guess not. Of course not. So, what do you think pirates do in their off hours? What I've heard is true. More and more pirates are spending their free time on the internet. I have no idea what it is, but I'll try to draw it. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I guess it's like stealing games. Done. Here you are, sir. Can't play in your crotch. Thank you for your patronage and enjoy your visit to the happiest island on earth. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, let's see if he has anything Excuse me. Thing else to say. You already yeah. Excuse me. You already got a caricature. Don't be greedy. Eh heck. Eh, at least this place has a bar. So is there a menu? I don't see anything in high res. It looks like they managed to get their hands on some of Elaine's stuff. Glove, music box, plastic ice cream cone. Elaine's gonna have an ant. Oh my. Elaine's gonna have a fit if she sees this. They made her look fat. There's nobody here. Bet there's someone here when a customer tries to leave, though. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Elaine. I think what a lip. What have you got? <sighs> it's a call me. Gee. You guess the menu might be that big thingy over there. Oop, there we go. On today's menu is Swordmaster's Delight, Guybrush's Mighty Pirate Burger, Lobster LeChuck. And Elaine sees our salad. Big mighty pirates like myself can't live on salads. Today's special drinks are Largo's Lemonade and Fat Fizz. I guess we get one of those things. Excuse me. Hi. I think I'm... What a lip... Guybrush's Mighty Pirate Burger sounds good. I thought it might. And to drink? I'll have a fat fizz. A popular choice, sir. And how will you be paying? Why should I pay? This place wouldn't exist if it weren't for me. This place wouldn't exist if it weren't for Ozzy Mandrill, sir. And you don't look like him. In any event, don't bother me again until you have some way of paying for your meal. Damn. Just get that back away. Now, yeah, is there anything over here? Nope. Oh. 
Oh, and it seems like we're out of time. And that's fine that we're out of time, I guess. So anyways, please comment, cause like, comment, say what you like, dislike, tips, tricks, otherwise. And if you like my YouTube and would like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe. And check out the videos to help it grow. And please remember to spay near and animals to help control the pit population. And until next time, let's say, me, a move, six of, escape from Monkey Island. See ya.